Neil, first signing through the door for January, Billy Chadwick, talk to us about him. Um, we've, we've tracked him for a while, so I think I've explained to some of the fans uh, at, the, at the forums and stuff, we've, we've put together a new recruitment team um, where you know, we've got Matt Lever heads up our recruitment uh, and he's a data analysis so we, we can collect data on all the players um, and Billy's somebody that he's, he's data for the type of player we were looking for when we put the, the categories we wanted from a player was exceptionally high. Uh, quite ironic that we've just played Gateshead twice <coughs> and managed to keep him quiet but I, th I actually thought yesterday he caused us no end of problems uh, with his movement and his, and his trickery. Um, Billy can play as a 9, a 10 up in the front three, he can play in loads of positions, very intelligent, his movement um, to running behind people is, is, is exceptional, uh, his technique to come and get on the ball and, and make things happen is very, very good uh, and we believe there's more to come. Um, so, you know, we, we started the process a while back with speaking to Stockport, seeing, speaking to the agents, see if, we, if there was something there for a permanent transfer in, in January. And, um, you know, we'd, we're obviously delighted to get it over the line because we think he's uh, going forward, he's going to be a very, very good player for York. How important is that permanent transfer for him now and to make somewhere at home because he's been about recently and yeah. now is the time for him to maybe, you know, a bit closer back to where his home is yeah. up in York how good do you think that will be for him? Yeah, I think that's what he needs. Um, you know, obviously he's gone to Gateshead, I think he played early on under the old manager, but I know that <clears throat> the new manager speaking to him yesterday loved him and pulled out, tried to pull out all the stops to keep him at Gateshead, uh, wanted to build the team around him. Um, but, uh, you know, luckily for us, Billy had already made his mind up that he wanted to come here. Um, uh, so I think it's going to be very important for him to to settle and I do think he's, he's different to Depot, he's different to Lenny, he's different to Will Davis in so many ways and that's what we're looking for, that, that sort of complementary um, skills and we were just talking about the game yesterday and you know he, I think even Billy feels that he will flourish playing up with or off of or with both of the strikers we had on the pitch yesterday, uh, you know Lenny, people like that, I think he feels that he will flourish. I mean, obviously, Gates would play a totally different way at the moment to how we do. But going forward, that's more in line with the model we wanna we wanna create. So uh, it won't be a surprise to him. So it, I think, you know, every every signing we're trying to make that we've made permanently, George Sykes, Ken Worthy, Will Will Davis, obviously uh, Billy, we're looking at now and making sure that we we get ourselves up the table. But we're also looking at the future, and uh, hopefully, the future's bright. Yeah, there's a, there is a clear identity amongst those signings. Are those the type of characters as well that need to be in, involved in and around with this football club for it to progress forward? Yeah, character's massive and you know fans always have favourites and they, I like him, I like him, but behind the scenes the character, the will to win, the, the know-how to win, the attitude, the application, the effort uh, in training every day, what you bring to the group on an everyday basis. You know, a lot of managers will sign players around team spirit you know they'll, they'll, they'll choose team spirit ahead of potential or ability um, because you know you only need three or four with bad attitudes and, and, and it can bring the rest of the group down I've been around them dressing rooms I've seen them dressing rooms so you know you look at the age of the players we've signed there's huge potential there they can improve but the, the characters as with Royal Davis with George and now uh, with Billy we feel they're characters that the rest of the lads when they walk in the dressing room will say well, not only a good player, but I'm having this guy. Touching back again quickly on, on Matt Lever and, and his role at the football club, what were those key set sort of qualities that Billy showed that you wanted? Yeah, well, we looked at, you know, we were looking at different types of forwards. Um, Will Davis, when we looked at Will, he had some physical attributes that he could play up as a nine on his own. He had goals in him. Billy, slightly different. Billy, we was looking for the, the technical element, um, the creativity, the flair. We was looking at, um, you know, Billy's so comfortable with a ball at his feet, but yet it's rare to find somebody who wants to have the ball, who can play like a 10, um, but who's willing to have great movement to get in behind and do the work off the ball. And we felt with Billy, we got both of them. And that was the, the first criteria we was looking for, was that, that ability to play on the shoulder and play off of people 
people and have great movement in behind. Um, that's not to say that we, we haven't got loads of options because, you know, Billy, if we play a front three, he can play anywhere across the line in a front three, but he can also play as a 10. He, I think when he was at Boston a couple of scenes ago, he played as an eight and scored loads of goals playing as an eight. So, you know, he gives so much flexibility to systems um, and the way you want to play. And there's no reason why we can't play two forwards and Billy in many different ways as well. Um, so, yeah, I think the the, the intelligence, the off-the-ball movement, um, we think that he can become an even better goal scorer uh, than he has. I know he scored well at Gates. So put it all together and, and they were the characteristics that he scored incredibly high. Uh, and given we've, we've just seen him twice, I'm assuming fitness-wise he's as good as can be at this mm. stage and but still scope to go a bit high with him. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's going to adapt to, you know, we're slightly different to Gateshead, as we know at the moment, with, with where we are and, and, and where the team is. But uh, yeah, I think he's going to, I think he'll fit in really, really well. He's the sort of player I like. And, you know, we've, over the last month or so, we've we've really started to make ourselves a lot harder to play against. Um, we've, we've tightened up defensively, which we needed to, because we the worst defensive record in the league. So it's, it's, you know, it's helped me to sort of learn right for now to be able to pick up results. We're not having Depot, we hadn't had, didn't have Will Davis till recently. Without the sort of goal scoring players in the team, we had to make sure we were solid. So now, can we stay solid? and add some flair and add some goals and add some creativity to the team where these players can go and flourish and show what they can do but from a really really good base and then we can become more expansive as we go along.